Got him. I got him. That's a big one. This might be the biggest fish I've ever caught at Hillsdale. I better get to it. Oh, it's a good crop. Damn good. Got him. Oh. Hey everybody, Crappy Kirby. It is a beautiful September morning, the 25th. Have not been fishing in a long time. Uh, so came out here to beautiful Hillsdale. I'm gonna take the sea arc off out and burn off a little steam. Uh, got a lot of gear here. Uh, I've been thinking about maybe going some places on Hillsdale that I've never been before and actually targeting some big crappie in the structure up in the river creeks. Sorry, I'm losing my pants there. Got to tighten that belt. But uh, anyway, come along with me. I'm gonna be using some B&M rods, some crappie magnets, the therapist color. We got a couple Gilligans on board. Teach! Come! There he comes. Kill up in that boat. Come on, Paint Jane. That's my wife's dog. She fancies herself a hunting dog, too. Let's do it. As you can see, my dogs love my sea arc. Woo, yeah. Get on, Paint Jane. Kill up in there. Hey Jane, come up. Let's go. Come on, Pain Jane. Good girl. You guys ready? Let's do this. You guys are hot dogs. Pretty simple. We're gonna be doing some live scoping. We got a nice little eye hole jig that we're gonna fill with some slab bites. Getting that hooked out just a little bit. With some pliers, just open up the hook set radius just a little more. That looks about perfect. One of my favorite colors purple and chartreuse, a.k.a. the therapist. I'm gonna rig that sl slab magnet onto that, just like so. Get a little of the good stuff here. Put in the eyes. And we got the Garmin 8616 mounted on some cornfield crappie gear. And we're going to put this in front of their face. Above it, got just a little bit of a bell sinker to get it down there. The bobber stopper in front of it. Now it's time to get to looking. If it is a crappie. It's a giant. Ooh, I got it. Whatever he is, we're gonna find out. Oh, it's a big crap. It's a netting crap. We gotta get the net, D. We gotta get the net. Oh. I told you we were going after big crappie. 
And let me tell you, for Hilldale Lake, that, my friend, oh, don't lose my net. That's a big old crappie. Look at that. 14 and a half, 15 inches. Thought it was a catfish. And he engulfed that eye hole jig with the slab bites and the therapist color. Man, we're gonna have to measure that one. Might even have to weigh him. It's a pretty good fish for fall. Look at that. Yeah, baby, yeah. Okay, let's uh let's measure him real quick. Let me get out here and open one. Yeah. Nice fish. shot here. I'm blowing my chances. Alright, oh, he's right here. He's right there. big one. This might be the biggest fish I've ever caught at Hillsdale. Why better get the net? Oh, it's a good crop. It's a damn good crop. Oh. Got him! Oh! Oh, and he fell off in the net. But look at this stud. Solid 16 inch crappie. Probably a female, all spawned out. Look at the head on that fish. We're gonna keep it just to take some pictures. We're gonna keep fishing here. You know, you say things all the time and it never truly registers. You know what I mean? Big crappie don't stay where little crappie are. These crappie are all by themselves and they look like giants. And I say it all the time and when I fish tournaments, I know 
not to try to catch school crappie. But you know, four time national champion Chris Mann on my Right Outdoors talk show, we got to talking about different spawn patterns of little crappie and big crappie. And, and in the middle of it, you know, this guy knows what he's talking about. He interrupted me and said, well, you know, Kirby, school crappie are a lot smaller than big crappie. Big crappie don't go where school and crappie go. And so today came out to Hillsdale, which I'm notorious for guiding on and catching a lot of those small school crappie, but I wanted to catch big ones today. So I went where I've never fished before. I uh, went across the creek channel that I've never been on and I'm finding these giant fish all by themselves. And if I put this therapist color with a little bit of eye hole jig action right on their face, they are smacking it. What a day, that was a giant. So wow, thank you Chris Man, for being on the show and thank you for saying something loud and clear. You know, in radio, radio advertisements, they say you gotta say something 60 times before someone actually acknowledges it on the radio. You might hear it over and over again. You know, the sun is, the sun is yellow, the sun is yellow, but you gotta hear it so many times until you actually, you know, there's one. So you actually comprehend it. Thank you so much for watching Fish Eat Live. Our mission is to demonstrate the benefits of the Fish Eat Live lifestyle. We look forward to educating, entertaining, and attracting you to the healthy lifestyle of the great outdoors. We're definitely going to have some wholesome family fun on the water every Sunday at 6 p.m. So hit that subscription and that notification bell because we want you to come be a part of this.